traction. No, I want, I want traction on. Want to say I'm on. excited is actually an understatement. Today we have a 2013, 2013 Fiesta ST1, right? Yeah. Um, you're gonna talk me through some of the details that you have told me before, but obviously I'd rather not stutter and yeah. <laughs> cut everything out so you can talk so, about it. Uh, so, bought it last year in January, so it's the basic POF spec. Uh, uh, POF spec. Peak, <laughs> yeah. In a year of having it, it's now stage three. Stage three. Uh, V1 hybrid, wrapped around 290. From layered performance. Um, and the clutch is it upgraded clutch or anything? Nah, stand, standard clutches are clutch. good for like 400. What? They come standard with a racing clutch. Yeah. From an ST? Yeah. What the hell? As you guys know, I've had a VXR Corsa, a VXR Corsa before, and something I've always been curious about is how does the ST compare? Because it's always been on this pedestal, like it's the best hot hatch, this, that, and the other. And the VXR has always been like, one really gives it time of day kind of thing. So I've always been curious. It's not a fair comparison comparing a stage three ST to a standard um, Corsa, VXR Corsa, but it will somewhat give me a feel of what this car is like. I'm gonna take it easy for a bit, just to get used to the car, and then we we'll talk about something I imagine everyone wants to know is the exhaust. What is yeah. the exhaust about? <laughs> custom-made three-inch uh, catback from Laird Performance. Yeah. They're based up in Scotland. Uh, Ross Laird makes them himself yeah. and he wanted to be a bit different from the Miltex and the Scorpion. So all it is, it's three-inch all the way through from the cat. Uh, no back box. And then it's upward swept tips. Yeah, yeah I like so, the, the upward yeah, swept tips. Up Everything's then, normally straight. Yeah. This one's like really nice. And, and it's sort of like, if you look at it and you're like, oh, what's that? It's like not a normal exhaust. And then you like, know when you're like, ah. Oh, it's upward swept, but he is really, really good with his exhausts and driving normally as well under 2k, 3k. It's because I suffer with headaches, so yeah, that was yeah, the main yeah. thing for me. I want some of that wooden drone, and it is perfect. Yeah, so as you can tell, I'm driving along normally, and yeah, you can hear it, but it's not overkill, like it's actually not overkill. And yeah, I'm taking it a bit easy just to, to get familiar a bit, and then I'll, I want to get my way back around now, put my foot down, and see what this is actually like. And spring suspension, what's been yeah, done in that regard? Eye back, red lines, red lines, all the way around. It's about 35 mil drop. Um, and then uh, to help with that, I've got Conti's on the front. And I've just got some cheap ones on the back just because yeah. of funds, but it's it's still picked yeah, up. Yeah, because I, when, when I, you gave me, I was just like as a passenger, and it might have spanned in like for a second, but after that, it gripped really well. Yeah. That gives it a bit of character. Yeah. about this car is that it's got standard brakes yeah. now obviously for the owner he knows his car he's not a madman like some people like you know he's got crazy power and the standard brakes so you break ahead of time yeah break ahead of time it yeah, was just yeah. like getting into stage three i was a bit like obviously I'll, I'll let, i allow myself a monthly spend yeah but they are uh, i think it's frodo ds two 500 pads which i'm getting next and i'll get all my parts fitted at matt lewis as well which are um, renowned and they're in scotland is it no no oh. uh, matt lewis are in canic oh, okay but the tuner is in scotland. scotland so you are a very loyal person yeah to go to scotland to get your car to you it's, that's crazy yeah. but you, you were saying that that tuner has the fastest yeah ST he has the record for the fastest st in europe that's in being M, yeah. that m5s and yeah that's crazy if, if you do search across lead and lane performance you will see uh, he's had his stage 3 ST beat a stage 2 Golf R. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a manual one. Uh, he's beaten an M6 standard, an R8. Uh, I think on his Santa Pod run, he managed 12.01. That's good. That is crazy. And he did 0 to 16. I think it was just over, or just under 4. It's. I'm actually surprised of how well it's putting this power down. Like, it's actually surprising me. I'm not even lying. Like the thing hardly spins. Oh wow, it's set up really well. And there's well. more to be doing done to it. It doesn't have an engine mount. It's standard, yeah. It needs Has it got a limited slip diff? Uh, no, not yet. Wow. 
So imagine all of that. That would just completely yeah. transform the car. Uh, an engine mount. I know. Oh, it is a must. Yeah, I should yeah, have yeah. had it at stage one, but I didn't, and I just, you know, I was like, oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. But an engine mount completely changed it all. Plant it even more. <laughs> okay, let's go for a little more. I'm trying to be so respectful because this car is loud, over 4,000. Yeah. It, it really just like bang, 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 bang. So I just like quickly up shifts to just to yeah. get that out of the way. Let's do it again. Oh. Looking at this car from the exterior, like it's kind of like one of them sleepers. You wouldn't think that it's got two, almost 300 brake horsepower. I mean, the only thing that probably gives it away is that it looks a bit lower, the wheels, and it's got like a slightly different yeah, front. spoiler cup shape. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only thing that probably gives it away. But if I pulled up next to this, I would literally be laughing at myself, like, I'm about to lose him. Yeah. But it's got the same horsepower, it weighs a bit less. The only thing is obviously mine's DSG, this is manual. So I might have a bit of an advantage there. But apart from that, Sometimes the car is like, um, as I'm saying, it's not a bad thing, it's not something I hate because if I just want a car to behave so predictable, that's boring, you know what I mean? Like, it gives it a bit yeah. of like, be careful, you've got power there. Okay, then, <laughs> VTEC. <laughs> Always get the VTEC boys trying out, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh because they yeah. think you're probably standard. That's the thing, they're looking at it from the back. Yeah, yeah, they're looking at it as a standard. Yeah. But then they don't want this, they don't want this, trust me. I was like, my. I'm, uh, my mate before he used to have a, this is the one reason why I got a V1. He's now got an S242, which is a Turbo Technics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his V1, he's I've experienced. He's kept Focus RS, the new Mark III. Uh, had a Golf R, big power Focus STs. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's taking them, and then his new Turbo is something else. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it's trying, it's got like a diesel. I'm actually scared to even do a roll up because it's 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 gonna be very close. Yeah. It's gonna be close. As I said, because the DSG manual that but the weight different it's gonna be close. Yeah. Should we do it? If you, you want. want nah, but that carriageway is just blocked off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we do it another time, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. want. Yeah, we could do it. Like the video, comment below if you wanna see me go do a roll with this ST. So obviously it's as I said before, 290 brake. Weighs a bit less than mine. Mine's 297. That's why it was dying all that. So it's pretty close. Like the video and comment below if you want to see that. But for now, I'm just going to head back to get my car and finish up with a little walk around and whatnot. Fuck off. What's I'm doing, man? I was going to say, yeah. I didn't want to go too close to it. Oh, it's a grandma, bless Yeah. <laughs> I've got to understand. And that knob behind is blowing. <laughs> Traction off. Let's give this a go with traction off. Yeah, it's feisty, man. It is absolutely feisty. With traction off as well, it does play around a lot more yeah. because obviously it's like the things not like controlling it and whatnot but More turbo, so it spools up very quickly. It's like a go car in the corner. It's not, it's not yeah. spinning, it's not going out on you. Yeah. Bro, I'm scared of these gun jobs. Yeah. Genuinely, like, flip it out. I don't want to do it past the wrong car. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone will freak out big. Oh, 
it, the power's all the way there to red line as well. This is crazy, like this is genuinely crazy. This is genuinely a fun car. I am confused. How does it go from low speeds, foot down, not spin, traction off? Nah. And it hasn't got LSD. No. Standard clutch, the lock. Wow, that is crazy. I am. Ah. And then even with the best tyres, you get some Peter. Uh, I know, but PS4 it's Continental. Bro, this car is, 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 wow. I need to be in a high gear, man. <laughs> this is not, yeah. that's, even that's too loud. <laughs> there you have it. I have finally driven a Fiesta ST, and I can tell you this Fiesta ST is absolutely savage. Like, I'm actually impressed of how well it is. And the owner told me, just to rub it in my face a bit more, that even after all that driving, you can still get 20 high 20s, 28 miles per gallon. That's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. It's got the same power as me. It, it handles well, it drives, like, I actually like that car, I wouldn't mind owning it, like, and it still gets 28 miles to the gallon, 350 to a tank, like, if you wanted it to, that's crazy, I only get 200, for God's sake, so, um, thank you, bro, for coming down, massively appreciate it, I'll leave his Instagram below, and you can go follow him and follow the car and all that fun stuff, and obviously like the video, and leave a comment below if you do want to see me go do, like, a few rolls with this car, I mean, as I said, it's going to be close, but let me know if you want to see that, and we'll probably do it off camera and not post it until you let me know if you want to see it. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.